Yo, Elliot, I wanted to get your opinion on my struggle with social anxiety. I would like to think that I am a pretty manly guy that has achieved a decent amount of success and strength in my life for being only 25. My wife, friends, my, and family tell me pretty often how intimidating I come off to people based on my appearance and demeanor. Really, I feel like my demeanor is an act of looking tough and saying few words. I don't mean being a man of few words that is powerful because I choose. I'm talking about avoiding conversation at all costs because if I speak, the uncertainty, fear, and self-doubt creeps out of the cracks of my mind and radiates through my voice. Last weekend, I was in a meeting with about eight people discussing some black and white paperwork regulations. I could clearly see in the document the answer that everyone was missing. When I finally got the courage to speak up, my voice and head began to shake as I tried to spit out a resemblance of English and felt my mind go blank. I realized after that shit show that I needed to get a grip on the situation instead of just trying to hide from it. I would say if you put me in a situation with over four people and tell me I have to talk, you'll get similar results 90% of the time. I work way too hard building my physical, financial, and spiritual strength to have come have some stupid words undermine my work and reputation. I mean, what good is all the information and truth I have been blessed with and have stored in my head when the words come out of a trembling, shaping, shaking mess? I guess I'm looking for any advice you have on how to build confidence in my speech and voice. Trying to find a way out of the hole I found myself in. Looking forward to hearing what you have to say. Thank you. So I'm going to spare you all the ideas, right? I could talk in circles about all kinds of stuff, but I want to give you something practical that it, it's, it, it's going to almost blow your mind how simple it is. Do the thing to have the power, right? I've said that time and again. You do the thing to have the power. You practice doing the thing so that you can do the thing. A lot of times we want to get the thing that way we, before we do it, right? right? I want to have confidence, so I got to get confidence before I'm confident. No, 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 no. You do the thing that you're not confident about to get the confidence. So I have a friend, not really a friend, colleague, guy I know, same situation as you. You guys might even know him. He's in fitness. I'm not going to say his name. But he came across as a real alpha male. He had a lot of tattoos. He wrote a lot of articles for Elite FTS. He wrote a lot of eBooks. He write emails. He's a good copywriter. And he knows how to bring across this persona through writing right a very good copywriter and so uh even the way he looks like i remember seeing pictures of him and he looked like mean mug with a bald head and tattoos and stuff and so everybody i myself included thought like wow this guy he's like so confident he's such a badass and i met him one day because I, I decided to take one of his classes and i could tell right away that he was nervous and i was like wow Big old tough guy. He's kind of trembly because it, it was his, it was at his gym, his workshop. I, I like him, um, but I can see why he's having a hard time right now. Like he's, you can see his palm sweating. And later on, he admitted. He said, "Yeah, I got. I'm like I have like uh, anxiety, uh, like self esteem issues." And I'm like, "Wow, that's so fascinating because everybody holds you in high regard, bro." I came, I came all the way out here to see you because I resonate with your, you know, your badass attitude. I was like, I like that guy, right? Like, like attracts like. I was like, he's a badass. I'm gonna go hang out with him. So, but you know, he he acknowledged he acknowledged where he was at, which is cool, right? Because you, you gotta you have to be honest. You gotta repent, right? You gotta realize who where you are, see yourself rightly. And you know what he ended up doing? He started taking improv classes. Improv. You know what improv is? It's like, uh, and then he started doing stand-up comedy, but not because he wanted to be a comedian, but because he wanted to work through his 
his social anxiety, his his inability to speak. Because he, you know, he's a tough guy too. Like he works out, he's disciplined, he's no slouch, but he had a hard time in person with people. And so taking it upon himself, real smart thing to do, he took classes to learn how to do improv. And I think improv in particular is important because most conversations are improvis improvisational, right? Is that the right word? Improv. Most of the time we're having conversations, it's improv, right? Like you're not planning on what you're going to say, which is different than acting classes, right? Like you take acting classes, that means you're learning lines and then you're acting, you're, you're, you're embellishing upon those lines. And so you're practicing being something that you're not. That's not what he did. He took improv classes and then started doing improv on stage. Now, you wouldn't notice about him because he doesn't promote it like, you know, come check me out on improv. But on the low, on the sneak, he started practicing and going to improv nights, right? It's crazy. So he would go and he'd get on stage and, he, you know, he would start to improvise and say things. And a lot of times in these like improv, uh, you know, if you live in big cities, they usually have them. These improv companies or, you know, show places, stages, they, inter they, they interact with the audience, right? So talk to the audience. So here you have, you know, an audience of say 50 people and he's improvising, speaking to people. People say something, he knows how to throw it back. You learn how to be witty, right? And it was scary. He didn't know what he was doing, but he took the classes, he practiced, he kept doing it. And then he overcame. He overcame and I, I, I think as a result, he found a beautiful woman that he wanted to marry. His business started getting better. He started doing uh, like retreats for men, right? Where in the beginning he couldn't, like even this one workshop I went to with him, he, he, I could see he was uncomfortable. He was doing it anyway. And now he very confidently, he speaks on stage. I, I, I've spoken on at various different fitness events with him, you know, back when I was doing those. Uh, and he does a great job. He's calm. He's cool. And you could never tell. In fact, I was a little bit more awkward than him the, the next time we saw each other. Right. Because I don't know, maybe I'm awkward too. Like I didn't want to go say hi. I was like, oh, I see that guy over there, but I'm just going to lay back in the cut. Right. I was just going to be, uh, I'm going to be an introvert. He came all the way across the room and I was so surprised because he was so open. He was like, Elliot, he shook my hand. I was like, this is not the same guy. I see what he's doing. He's, he's, he's been working on himself. He shook my hand, started making up conversations, and I was awkward in a, in a, in a way, right? I was being introverted. I was like, I don't really want to talk, but I try to be nice. <laughs> Me, it was just having a bad attitude. But it was, you know, I can improvise. I can talk to people, but I was just having a bad attitude. And so he lightened up my day. He started asking me questions, and then all of a sudden, like, I came out of my shell. I was like, wow, this is amazing. And he even told me, I think at that time too, because I asked him, I was like, bro, you real different. And that's when he told me, he was like, yeah, I started taking improv classes and going on stage and talking. I was like, this is amazing. And so he really revolutionized himself, not by thinking about it, not by conceptualizing it, you know, talking about anything that, you know, I like to do that kind of stuff. But you just need to do, go take some classes. Yeah, go take some improv classes, practice, right? One night a week, go and then practice it. And you'll just get out of you. You'll get over yourself. That's really what it is. But you got to do the thing to have the power, dude. Done. Did you know that there's a secret psychological and social war on masculinity in the West since at least the 1960s? If you think I'm crazy, you need to watch my new free masterclass. You'll learn the history and origin of this war, as well as how it's affecting your health, your finances, and how females respond to you. If you're a man who's open to a compelling vision of traditional masculinity, financial freedom, success with women, and generous leadership, then you'll definitely want to study this class. It's called Make Men Strong Again, how millions of men are fighting back and winning the war against masculinity. Just click the link in this video or visit makemenstrongagain.com and get this brand new masterclass. It's completely free. It will blow your mind and has a ton of value and it's about 40 minutes long. So make sure that you pay attention and take notes. Why am I sharing this? I'm a mentor to millions of men worldwide on YouTube. So I'm familiar with the biggest reasons why men today are failing in so many areas of their life. And the answer will rock your world, but it's not totally your fault. Find out what's really going on. Click the link in this video to watch this class and start taking action today.